Hello, and thank you for choosing Harold G. Shavitz, The Sensor Connection. In this video, we will be discussing proper methods of handling and marking the cores of free core LVDTs. The core of an LVDT is made of a highly permeable ferromagnetic material that has been carefully annealed to maximize its magnetic properties. For this reason, the core must not be dropped on a hard surface, machined, or clamped in a vise of pliers. All these actions could damage the surface of the core and change its operation in the LVDT. It also should not be welded or brazed, or otherwise subjected to high temperature heating. Anything that affects the annealing can result in the calibration data for that particular LVDT no longer being correct. Mechanical connection to the core should be done with a non-magnetic material, preferably 300 series stainless steel or a fiberglass or plastic rod that is attached by a suitable adhesive or thread locker. Highly conductive aluminum or brass connecting rods should be avoided, as they may introduce eddy currents within the LVDT, which will produce unacceptable results. Occasionally, a user may want to mark an LVDT's core with its serial number to be able to match them up if the parts become separated. There are several ways to mark a core without affecting its performance. Electrochemical etching or low-power laser marking are commonly used methods. Inkjet markers and paper and polyester labels are also used, but usually require a thin wall transparent shrink tube to be applied over the marking or label as protection. Engraving with a tool is definitely not a satisfactory method, as this would change the properties of the annealed surface of the core and affect its operation in the LVDT. For OEM users of LVDTs, the sensor should be ordered with serialized cores to begin with. Each LVDT free core is commonly marked with a blue dot on one end. The blue mark should be aligned with a blue mark on the LVDT body for proper orientation. This is the orientation of the core with which the LVDT was tested and calibrated and that offers optimum performance. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this instructional video and would like to hear from us again, please subscribe and click the bell to turn on notifications. For additional technical resources, please visit our website, hgsind.com. Harold G. Shavitz Industries, performance and reliability is our business. Thanks for being on our team.